Welcome to the Branson Goodwin Shop. This video is going to be on how to install bumper corks on trombones. Bumper corks slide down into here and here on a trombone and these two things are called cork barrels and that's because they're barrel shaped and then you put the corks in there. To do this job you want 1 8 or 3 millimeters thick cork. Take the slide, push it in all the way and then take the slide lock and engage it and see how much space there is here. You can either measure with a ruler and see how far it goes in or you can just look at it and see approximately. When you're measuring it add just a little bit more because the cork does compress over time. So I'm going to cut that. Just take your razor blade, cut it and then just crack it and break it off and there's what you need. Because this is fairly thick cork and it needs to get wrapped around a very small diameter, it needs to be flexible. And this is not flexible yet. If I bend it much more, it would break. Now to make it flexible, I'm going to take my rawhide mallet and hit it. This does not hurt it at all. That softened it up quite a bit. To soften it up more, I'm going to take my screwdriver and roll it on it. I'm pushing down pretty hard as I'm doing this. And you can see it already wanting to start to curve a bit. Okay, now this is flexible enough. It should go around the tube without breaking. And now you need to install the cork. So you take it and slide it in at a diagonal and just go around all the way until you reach the other side. Then take the razor and cut it where it needs to be like that. Okay. Now you just push it in until it goes all the way in. Then you check with the lock and see if it's where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to put the other one in and since this is a side with the slide lock uh, I'm just going to go right up to the slide lock, put it in like that, and then, then cut it, and I just have to push it past the slide lock. There we go. And then compress it a little because it's going to compress when the trombone player plays it, it's going to compress it. I'm just compressing it so that it fits where it's supposed to fit once they compress it a little. Now the slide goes in the right amount and it locks like it's supposed to, so it's ready to go. When you're doing this job, you want to use high quality cork and you can use the stuff that comes from Allied or Freeze. For a link to those companies, look in the description below. You can also use felt rings to do this job. These are felt rings that are used on the valve caps on trumpets and baritones and they can work but you do not want to stack these. You can use these when there's a really thin space between the slide and the end of the cork barrel. You can also use these on top of cork. You can use a thinner layer of cork and then put these over the cork and then that adds up to the correct distance. And those are variations. Either of them will work. Just do what's best for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been helpful.